can I speak about something? And I am not going to get really graphic, but it is about lust. I think much of the comments I receive are pretty much about lust, like masturbation, fornication, maybe some more stuff like that. When it comes down to lust, and I may not know everything, I think it is something you are going to have to fight so much. Myself, I have not fornicated in years. Maybe I would say around five or more years. I have not watched pornography for probably around that time point anyway. And do you know that the urges I receive, now I don't know exactly how everything was back in the past, but as it seems, like I get the same or similar urges as I used to. Okay. Since I believe I may be wrong about this, I get the same or similar urges as I used to. Should I just give in to them? Should I just like give myself over to those feelings? Should I? And as it seems, I battle against those urges year after year. Sometimes I have times of peace to where I don't really have much urges or maybe no urges. But as it seems so much, I have to like battle against those urges so much. Some people may think since they have given their life to Jesus Christ, those urges should leave. Like they should not have those urges anymore. And I don't think that is the case. I think there are some other Christians who are striving for perfection, who are battling against, battling against sexual urges. I hope this makes sense. So, inside your mind, you may think that, well, maybe one day these urges may go down or whatever else, and for me, I don't think it is, it was that way. So many times I have to ask Jesus Christ for help. So many times I have to bind and cast demons away from me or whatever to get those urges under control. Sometimes, let me say this word, sometimes... I stay to a certain a point erected.
Now, you may ask, Kevin, why do you think you are that way? Or why do you think it may be this way for some people? If you are truly trying to live for Jesus Christ, if you are truly trying to do what is right, and if you are still having urges, one, you may have a demon problem, two, you may be getting tested. or something else because if we are supposed to become more like Jesus Christ every day and if God is going to test us in anger patience or whatever else I believe the more we become like Jesus Christ the more we are going to be able to help people. Does that make any sense? I am finding, and I think this to be so true, the more patient I can be with people, as it seems, or most of the time, the better the outcome. So what if I was 100% patient, 100% humble, 100%, what is that word? Uh, not passive, but uh, meek. Let's say I am maxed out in every attribute and all the attributes of the fruit of the spirit which is in maybe Galatians chapter 5, I think, maybe 19 through 21. Let's say I am maxed out at 100% in all of those attributes. I think I would be very powerful in Christ. Right? I have no, what is that word? I have no desire to fornicate, masturbate, commit adultery, or anything like that. I have no desire for that. But yet, as it seems, it's like something is pushing that stuff toward my mind or something like that, like, Something is like trying to urge it upon me. So should I just be like, okay, let me take it all? No, I have to resist. You have to resist. I believe you can fast, pray, read the Bible, ask God for help. I think there are some things you can do to resist lust. You may even have to isolate yourself to a certain extent. As much as possible, I guess. I believe the Bible says, too, we have to... <laughs> I may not say this all the way right, but we have to carry our cross. So we have to what? Sacrifice. We have to reject what is wrong, even though it may be pleasurable. I think carrying your cross is not so easy. Trying to do what is right when, as it seems, so much wrong is legal to do. Or it may feel right. We have to carry our cross and follow Jesus Christ. Let me say this too. 
let's say you give in to masturbation let's say you give in to fornication adultery or whatever else it is not the end of the world repent ask God for forgiveness and continue to try to do what is right Kevin I masturbated every day and I repent I mean I ask God for forgiveness every day continue trying how long have you been sinning almost all your life so why do you think you can become perfect or what word am I looking for? Or extremely good at living for Jesus Christ quickly. Maybe some can do it. I don't know. But I am still learning. I am not perfect. I am not. Neither, I don't think you are too. So... Continue trying no matter how long it takes. Even if you fornicate 1,000 times a day. Even if you masturbate 1 million times a day. Repent. Ask God for forgiveness. And continue moving forward. Don't be hung up by your past errors don't be like i continue failing so i must stop no never give up and continue trying let me stop here god bless you